The title of my show is Emanating, and I wanted to come up with a word that talks about something that you can feel, but not necessarily see, but something that fills the room and it's more like energy. And then I came across the word emanating. And I thought that was pretty spot on because that talks about some kind of abstract perception of something that you don't really see, but it is there. What I'm talking about uh, with these paintings is not so much of what you see, but what you don't see. When you're trying to paint about being present and being in the moment, the contradiction of having a plan comes up really quickly. When I paint, when I'm in a session, I have to treat it as if I am in it for the first time. I have to let go of the future, what I think might be, and I have to let go of the past of wanting to hold on what I started. Because both those imply going either hanging on to the past or projecting into the future. And I don't want to do that. I want it to be in the moment. I will start this journey and I will start with color and I will, I will have a session. And then at one point when I become really aware of myself or aware of what I'm doing, I'm not in the moment, I'll back out and I'll probably leave for the day or whatever. When I come the next day, I have started this journey, but since it's a journey without a map, <laughs> I need to look at what I've done basically like I would look at a blank canvas. And to do that, I have to be able to see the painting as a whole and not to look at the painting as a process of getting to a target mark. If I look at the painting just as a whole and not as little parts, I have the freedom to say, okay, how brave can I be to just go forward from the present moment without projecting the future? Each session is recorded and that energy is recorded. And then the next session, a good part of the painting might be covered up. But what's underneath, what has been covered up is so necessary to the current painting, even though it wasn't a step-by-step -step part of the painting, it was like the life or the energy that was put into the painting. And so many of the paintings in this current exhibition have work underneath that you wouldn't even dream of. There was no connection at all to what you're seeing. And yet there's every connection to what you're seeing because without that previous thing, what you ended up with would not have been possible. I needed to be able to have colors that inspired me. So looking at the just the powder pigment is inspiring. And I thought that was a good place to start. Start with color rather than start with form. Because if you start with form, then you're just filling in a preconceived notion. But if you can start with a color, it gets a little bit more primal. It's almost like, okay, this is what it is. And it's not trying to be anything other than this. And this was created for the first time in your studio. And it's not referencing anything other than what you find inspiring with the color. The other thing I do is I have bowls. Um, and basically, they're just glass bowls. And I squeeze tube paint in and I create the color first. So I'll have all these bowls and then I'll turn the bowls upside down, put a little bit of um, linseed oil or you know walnut oil or something on top just to coat it a little bit and turn it upside down. So they're on the ready. And then I'll just put on you know some gloves and have this already mixed color and do the same thing that I do with the bars, but I'll just do it with the bowls and I just scoop it up and plop it on <laughs> and then wipe it off. So what happens is I'm living through the colors or, or working through the colors and they're there at the ready. They're not so precious that I don't want to waste them. And they hang around the studio for a long time. You know, I'll have all these bars then down 
and they, they weren't planned for a particular painting, but all this stuff is on the ready. And the sequencing of what comes first, color of form, has kind of been reversed. So color comes first. And then I just go with that. You know, I start with color. I just hope that when people look at the paintings in this exhibition, that they experience a feeling and the logic of, oh, what is it? It goes out the window. If you're listening to music and, you know, oh, without any lyrics, you're not saying, okay, what is it? And I, I, I really feel that painting is an experience and it's not supposed to be something that you look, oh, that's got to be a so-and-so. And the painting is itself. It is the object. It's not a painting of anything. It is a painting because I realize that I'm with the painting for only X amount of period of time. The person that ends up with the painting is going to be around it so much longer and have so much more interaction with it than I ever did. And I kind of like that idea that it continues and it is a continuum. It just keeps going and going and going. 